Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Jordy and I'm here to do another tarot card reading for the Pisces Collective. This reading is general, so it may or may not resonate with you. Uh, just like every other YouTube reading out there, if you find this one doesn't fit your story, I recommend checking out my channel and looking for a title that stands out to you. This way there still is a reason why you clicked on this reading today and you will find a message that you're looking for. We're going to get started by pulling some angel tarot cards. Then we'll uh, get into a 10 card tarot spread using the Rider Waite Tarot. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, commenting below, and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate all of your love and support. We have the Three of Water. This card says a celebration, a wedding, graduation, or birth announcement, the need to have more fun. Let's see what else that we've got here. We have the Emperor, Archangel Michael. Organization and logic, structure and discipline, leadership. So those energies are kind of opposite, you know. Um, I'm not going to read too much into them until we see the rest of the tarot cards that come out. But um, obviously something positive is happening here, some type of, of achievement. Emperor can talk about achievements. And the Three of Cups can talk about celebrating those achievements. So we have the Lover's card. First card out. We have the Knight of Cups reversed. And we have the Six of Wands reversed. We have the Temperance Angel reversed in the recent past and the world card in the distant past. We have the Ten of Pentacles in the future. We have the Three of Cups representing you. That's beautiful to have that card here twice. I feel like you're really happy about something, Pisces. We have the Five of Swords reversed in your environment. I'm just hearing the words, welcome back. Welcoming back you, or welcoming back some people into your life. We have the fool in the fears and desires position. And we have the hanged one as the outcome. The four of wands reverse underneath the bottom of the deck. I do feel like um, a chapter was closed in the past between you and a uh, long-term relationship or even a family member or a group, a group of people, like extended family. That part of your life is kind of in the past now. Um, but uh, it's, been very, it's been a very painful healing process is what I'm hearing healing from this being over, this chapter in your life. It was a very positive chapter in your life. Um, and uh, it looks like in the current moment, there's an opportunity for a relationship to come together with the lover's card here. Um I don't feel like it's love, love, like intimate lovers type of energy. It feels like you're welcoming back someone into your life or someone's welcoming back you into their life. And it's all, it's a very positive celebratory experience. Um, you know, letting bygones be bygones, talking about what has happened to each other since last seeing each other, getting caught up again and proposing some type of plan, maybe proposing to go on a trip together, maybe proposing to um, start over in some way with the Fool card being here. This person was always meant to be part of your long-term um, plan, you know? 
spiritual plan, the plan you might not know too much about because your soul made this plan before you even got here on earth. It's like part of your soul's contract was to be in union with this person, platonic, most likely like a friendship or a family member. And um, it, it's interesting because there used to be a whole community built around you and this person. And that might be what's different this time around. It might be that it's more so going to be about just the two of you now um, versus all of the extending relationships that may have kind of petered off in the background between you and the other person. Um, so it's just the two of you now. We can focus on this relationship and rebuilding it into the way that you like. Um, some of you, this might just be a temporary reunion. Uh, it might not be that the two of you are living next to each other or in the same city. Um, it also feels like somebody's conquered um, an addiction or someone has released themselves from uh, some form of bondage or or attachment to something that was not healthy. It could be that they're retired now. It could be that they are um, out of a relationship that was keeping them tied down and in their head, always thinking, always plotting to, um, you know, escape is what I'm hearing. <laughs> this relationship or this bondage but now that the that they have escaped and now that they have moved forward they're excited to be part of your life again um this could be vice versa by the way but it is a reunion it's very beautiful very simple reading actually if we go through the individual card pairings we have the lover's card and the ten of pentacles that is a relationship that lasts a lifetime. Even if there's been some years apart, it's very beautiful. We have the Knight of Cups reverse and the Three of Cups. Sometimes the relationship dynamic changes and the intensity of the love between the two of you may have been higher in the past. Now it's kind of mellowed out. But there's a, an arousal happening now. There's an excitement to have this person back in your life and them to have you back in their life. Um, we have the Six of Wands reversed and we have the Five of Swords reversed. This is kind of saying that a lot of the life that you built together with this person in the past has, has changed since then. Not only has the relationships that were surrounding this relationship petered off or changed, but you've each rebuilt your own lives in different ways. And uh, with the temperance card being reversed in the distant past, the recent past, it's like up until now, your lives were not in alignment with each other. There were some extenuating circumstances, probably this hanged one here explaining that, that one of you was tied to something that was keeping them from having a more relaxed lifestyle where they can enjoy this relationship dynamic with you. Most likely a work situation or a uh, toxic situation that they're involved in. The hang one is not the devil card, but it can represent um, worldly attachment yeah and the need to break free from it and to separate from it and evolve from it the fool card underneath the temperance reversed is kind of showing that um it's uh, your spirit guides angels and ancestors always knew that the two of you would reunite but um, I think they want to make it clear to you that it, it that it's it's the desire coming from both of you that's reuniting each other now, um, and that you were never kept apart from each other. It may have felt like the universe was keeping you apart from this person, but it was always because of 
the energy within each of each of you that needed to evolve and change in order for this to have a fresh start, a clean slate. Um, the world card and the hanged one. I feel like at some point in the past, the reason why this relationship dynamic ended was because some person in this dynamic had to evolve first, and then the other person had to kind of play a little bit of catch up. So I feel like you Pisces were sent on a, a pathway of transformation and that you've kind of come out the other side. And then now you're kind of welcoming another person coming out of their own personal transformation. And it's just one big celebration. You've got two cards of celebrating here. The Four of Wands reversed underneath the bottom of the deck. The Three of Cups here twice. That is very beautiful energy. All right. Well, it's a simple reading today. Um, I'm just going to leave it there. Uh, I will say this. There's one more message coming through. I'm looking at the Emperor card here that we pulled in the beginning of the reading. This relationship was always protected by Archangel Michael. Okay. And always will be protected. All right. Take care and I'll see you again soon.